So I just got back from a weekend of semi-unplugging. So I was still checking emails and messages. And when I came back last yesterday morning, um, I had a ton of work staring me in the face. I had clients that I needed to email. I promise you're getting your emails. I promise, I promise. I'm working on that this afternoon. Um, I had freelance writing assignments that were due. I had um, tons of things to do to make Milk Kids Ed even better than it already is. And it was overwhelming. That was my homework. Does that sound familiar to you? When your child gets off the bus and they have tons of things to do. They have math and spelling and reading and social studies and science and there's a lot of to do, right? It's easy to get overwhelmed. For children, for adults, for everybody to feel overwhelmed and stressed out when you are staring down a mountain of work. And that's what homework can feel like a lot. Helping to find the time to do homework and process homework and feel successful at homework is one of the number one things I'm seeing posted about on Facebook right now. I'm seeing parents who are struggling with, um, do you want your child to do your homework, so do you do it for them if they're resistant to it? I'm going to tell you no, don't do that. Um, you're going <clears> to, <throat> you have other parents who feel like they're losing their minds trying to remind um, their child to do the homework. They're constantly at them, come on, come on, just five more minutes, five more minutes, finish your homework. You've got like five spelling words left and then we can do math. That's not the solution either, is it? Because you're losing your mind. You're, cre you're creating crazy town in your house. <coughs> and so what you're left with is C. Everybody ends up miserable. Your child isn't feeling successful about homework. You're not feeling successful about homework. You're feeling, you're both feeling really stressed out and overwhelmed. You just, you need a solution. You need a way to make homework more manageable. And that's exactly what I posted about earlier this week on milkkidsed.com. I put the link to that blog post right in the video description. So I want you to go ahead and check it out. It's called Simple Solutions. It's an easy homework fix. You get a free principle um, if you sign up for it. There's an email link in the the blog art, the blog post itself. So please go ahead and sign up for that free principle. It's my favorite thing. It's six simple steps to homework success. <coughs> it's a stress-free homework. Um, every parent needs to have this principle on their fridge. It'll walk you through six easy ways that you can change your child's homework right now. And today I want to share one of those ways. And it's something that I use personally in my own life. So remember I talked about um, staring down that mountain of, home, of work that I had to do, my personal homework. Here's what I do. When I got home yesterday, so I literally stepped off the plane, came home, and I had a million things to do. So last night, what I did, I sat down and I made a list. I made a list of all the things that I had to do this week. And I keep that list and I keep it in my planner. So I have a giant planner. And my planner operates on a super simple basis. So you can see it kind of right here. So it breaks it down hour by hour. My day is chunked. And this is the number one tip that I want to share with you for homework success. If you want the other five tips, I want you to go ahead and read the article um, and then click and download your free printable. It'll give you six steps for homework success. So I want to make sure that you are getting that. But I did want to share my insights about why chunking works for successful work completion why it helps your child maintain focus and feel successful. So chunking basically is every teacher does this and you might actually do it without even knowing that you're doing it, which is great because that means you're already working on the success. So chunking is basically taking a larger task and breaking it down into itty bitty bite sized pieces. So for example, if your child is working on spelling words, let's say, you might say, all right, I want you to do, um, just pick five words and we're going to do those five today. We'll do the next five tomorrow and so on and so forth until over the course of four days, you've covered all 20 spelling words, right? And you've practiced them and you've added them. That's chunking for spelling words. You're just doing a small bit every day. You can do that same thing with homework every day. You could say, okay, we're going to do math homework right now. And once you're done with five problems, 10 problems, this worksheet, we're going to step back for a minute and we're going to take a break. We're going to go run outside. We're going to have a snack. We're going to listen to music. We're going to do something. We're going to do anything other than homework for about five-ish minutes. 
then when we're done with that one, when, when we're feeling like our mind is refreshed, we're gonna come on back, we're gonna sit down and let's read 10 pages. And while you're reading, this is for older kids who are already confident, independent readers, while you're reading, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sit right beside of you and I'm gonna read too. Or could you read out loud to me while I'm chopping up the vegetables for dinner? So chunking. You're breaking down the homework into small pieces. And you can do this a couple of different ways. You can break it down by time. Set a timer, an egg timer, your phone timer, whatever. Um, set it for a, a certain amount of time. You could do five minute segments, you could do 10 minute segments. For older kids, you could do 15 or 20 minute segments. When the timer goes off, you stop, you put the homework to the side, and you do something else for like another three to five minutes. When that next break timer goes off, you come back, pull out the homework, and you start again. Um, this is gonna take some training and some time and some really good modeling from you, mom and dad. So I want you to start practicing chunking with your child tonight for homework. This is your homework from me, your parenting coach. I want you to break down the homework into small bite-sized pieces, and I want you to start modeling for your child and breaking things up. So you could do it with laundry. You could sit by beside of them and coach them through chunking out their homework. You could... Um, if you're working on a project, you could say, all right, I'm going to work on this for 10 minutes. And I want you to tell me when 10 minutes is up for me to take a break, right? Chunking is my number one success strategy. I have successfully used chunking in the classroom. Now, remember, classroom, 20 to 30 kids, just me as the teacher. I have successfully used chunking to coach students through work that they did not want to do. I have had writing kids who do not like writing, who have thrown terrible tantrums for other teachers. I got them to write beautiful five paragraph essays because I broke it down for them. I said, okay, we're gonna take a couple minutes. Let's write two sentences together. The next day, let's write two more sentences together. You just keep going through that chunking process over time and it builds, I promise you. I've had children who do not want to do the work, who have special education needs, focus issues, all sorts of these issues, successfully completing work with a smile on their face most of the time, simply by breaking it up. And chunking is my number one tip for today. If you would like the rest of those six tips to homework, six stress-free homework success, you can go ahead and click um, the article. It says read this right in front of it. And I'm going to go ahead and post the link right in the comments. So I want you to go ahead and read that article. Um, about the easy homework fix, you're going to get your free um, <clears throat> stress-free homework printable when you sign up at the link. If you're looking for more information or you're looking for a complete toolkit to totally change how your family is handling homework, I want to introduce you to the Busy Parents Guide to Stress-Free Homework. This is my brand new resource for busy parents. Um, it's available at the Milk Kids Edge shop. The link is right in the um, in the video description, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in the comments too. Um, so I'm, this is my brand new product, and it basically walks parents through how to set up a complete homework routine that is stress-free, that is successful, and that works for children in, from primary school all the way up to middle and high school. It's simple ways that and worksheets that you can use in your everyday life to make homework a success. If you're interested in learning more about the Busy Parents Guide to Stress-Free Homework. If you're interested in learning more about um, how you can change your homework style, I want you to go ahead and leave a comment on this video and let me know where your homework struggle is. Um, mine is with taking a break. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and take a break from my work. Have a great day. I hope you remember to take a break from your homework too.